Responsible Research and Innovation deals with introducing a more participatory approach into research, uh, agenda setting and research implementation and research dissemination, all the cycle of research policy, uh, making it more engaging of the different stakeholders and, and the society in general. And then when we look at the Sustainable Development Agenda, it, uh, it deals with making a more sustainable world in terms of economic development, addressing everybody, about social justice, addressing everybody, about the natural resources so that the planet uh, is taken care of in a, in a more sustainable way. And for this, of course, uh, participatory processes and getting knowledge, addressing all the diversity of realities and needs of people and, uh, and all the natural aspects of the world are very important inputs. And then how does gender get into this picture? Well, I would say that gender is the cornerstone for both responsible research and innovation and for the sustainable development agenda, because gender is one of the uh, areas in which more inequalities take place. I would say that if gender issues, both in terms of participation and decision making and in terms of considering the different needs and realities of uh, individuals, whether they are men or women, depending on their gender roles and, and the daily lives they lead are taken into account. Uh, what, if this is done, if gender issues are addressed, then all the remaining 16 sustainable development goals will fall in place on their own. And if gender issues are properly taken into account into responsible research and innovation processes in the engagement, in the participatory, uh, in the inclusion aspects of RRI, then this will again be a cornerstone and all other aspects of inclusion and participation in research and innovation will follow more easily.